everyone, Emily Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do a snake. So I've done other snake videos, but this one's going to be slightly different. I feel like I want to paint it and it's going to look a little bit more scarier. That's what I'm going to tell myself. So like and subscribe if you like this video. I'm going to use acrylic paint and I'm going to use a piece of paper that's portrait. A piece of paper that's portrait. Kind of rhymes. I'm going to use a pen, but obviously use a pencil just so you can rub stuff out. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is um, I want to kind of draw, let's just do this type of shape. So we're going to do this type of shape. If you see on the paper where you're doing it, it's like you're not doing it everywhere. You're not doing it below or, the, or above. You're just kind of doing it around about there. It's okay if you do it high, but don't do it low. Then you want to sort of go up. So you're going to go, it's a bit like a L, but not really, is it? Or back to front one, depending on how you're watching it with a the camera. Then, this is quite important, just straight across a little bit. Then go work your way up. If that's too quick, I'll do it again. So we're going up, across, up. And almost like a, an M where you curve at the end. So you go, whoa. Now is the easy bit. This bit was the hardest bit. So don't panic if you're like, I can't do it. Just gonna do it chunky so you can really see it. Now the snake's eye is open and the mouth is open. So if you just go along here, just travel along. We're gonna do a line down. I wish I was going lion down or lying down. Then, ah, I'm going to do this type of shape. Can you see how it is? It's like a V. It's like a V. But then I wanted to do a roundy bit within a line. So this could also, you could also draw this by just doing a rectangle and a triangle and then shaping around it. But just try it this way, just see what happens. And then we wanna do, you know where you've got this bit? Just join it up and you're gonna draw kind of like the outline of the mouth. That's quite scary already. Then, super easy, just touch about here. And we're going to do this. Round we go. You're better off actually. Let's do this. So let's just all draw this. This is what we need to draw. Something like this. So as long as you've got there and you're going around quite low all the way and then do a shape like this. Then all you need to do is touch, where you know where we did the wobbly bit, pause the video if it's too fast, but where you did the wobbly bit, you're gonna go, and next to that, the same. Because this is a little bit of the neck that you know, like it's tummy, it's got all these little things here. So just add those in. Right, this bit's really easy, but if you're not gonna keep an eye on what I'm doing, you might get a bit confused. So just really keep an eye on what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do is touch about here. So just look at where I might be, so roughly there, and we're gonna do this. Somewhere here is fine. I'm doing it chunky, just so you can really see it. There we are. Right, he's curling around himself. So we've got this, but then we've got another little bit. So this is where it gets maybe a bit complicated, but you know you've got this bit there. Just join it up like this. Hang on there. So this is just one line, but I've made it well chunky, then I just so you can see it. And next to that, another line. So if that was really difficult, you know you had those two bits there. As long as you're joining it up, so you've got no, no gaps, then do another one. And then all you need to do, pause the video if you're a bit stuck, and just go back and have a look again slowly. 
because all you need to do then is just float, 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 float. Because that line there is that line. I've got that completely confused. I think I sat on a pin just now. It was quite, quite painful. Um, what I want to do is this taily bit comes out here. So this is the end of the tail. That's what I want it to look like. So he's kind of doing this. He's sitting and he's twirling and he's got all he's all over the place. Then we want an eye. Nice big eye would be good. Bit scary. His nose looks a bit odd. And then we want to do some fangs. Normally they show their bits of um, gum. So I'm just going to do a line there. I love drawing these because they look kind of cool. It's like the tongue bit. And then just decorate it. So you could do any shapes you like. You could do it like that. I like circles. Where you've got the eyes, it's quite nice. It's a bit like that Loch Ness Monster that I drew. It's quite, and there's a nostril there. I like doing quite a lot of them. They're bigger. They're definitely bigger on the body. You don't have to do them everywhere though. You could just do them here and there because it gives the impression that they're everywhere. So that is the drawing of my snake. I, I'm quite happy with him. I feel like his eye... Oh, he looks a bit angry now. <laughs> quite like that, don't I? Um, I feel like his eye could be a bit further back, but I don't know. I'm going to keep it as it is because each picture is slightly different, isn't it? Right. Okay. I'm going to start colouring him now. Colour him in. I can't speak. So pick a colour. You could do a rainbow snake. How cool would that be? You could literally do red. Do you know what? I'm semi tempted to do that. You could. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to do it. So I'm using acrylic paint, but you could use any paint. You could use poster paint. You could use felt tip. It doesn't matter. So I'm just putting mine out on a piece of paper. I've actually got a piece of paper that I'm doing it on. Can you see it? You can see it. I'm loving the idea of a rainbow snake. I'm getting all my colours, so I've got basically just sing the uh, the rainbow uh, song to yourself. So I've got red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. Sorry for my voice. <laughs> right, off I go. Now, you don't have to do a rainbow one, by the way, but I just love the idea. So if it is a rainbow one, I'm going to ignore my, my thingies there, my, what are they called, scales. I'm just going to have a go at colouring them in. So I've got paint on a brush with some water, and this is all red. What you could do as well, is go over all your pencil marks with a felt tip that might be nice like a marker sharpie or something so this is all red it's a bit scary right then I'm gonna get orange rainbow snake I wonder if there's such a thing I bet there is now you want to blend the red and the orange together. Even if you're using chalk, you can still blend. When I mean blending, I mean, you know where both colors meet. So if my yellow touches the orange, mix both of them where they meet and it should mix in so it doesn't just suddenly stop. I do like painting because paint looks amazing. Red and yellow and... I'm not going to do how the rainbow song is though. But what's after yellow? Green? I do like a bit of green, guys. Ooh. How nice does that green look? 
Oh yeah. I like that green. Now remember what I said about blending. You rinse your brush, dry it, and just mix it like that. It should mix. If it doesn't mix, just keep drying the brush. Red and yellow and pink and blue. I'm not even going with a rainbow, am I now? Really? But whatever colour's similar. So blue's similar to green, so you'd assume that that's going to blend, blend, guys. <laughs> Bit of purple is nice, isn't it? Do like purple. Might not blend some of it, but let's just give it a go. I think it's fun to try different things. Okay, now we want to continue the rainbow theme, but it might be a bit odd. Because obviously he's twirling around, so I would say that bit is going to be red. And please don't feel that you need to do the rainbow snake. But I must say, I do like it, don't you? It's just, it makes me happy. Bit of orange. Mine's dripped, but it's all right. Hmm. I do like that. Did I tell you that? In case you're not sure, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Bit of like, yeah, I don't think we need that much yellow. Yellow makes the painting come to life. So if you don't have any yellow in your picture and you think, oh, it looks a bit plain, add a bit of yellow. Because that's what makes pictures sort of come to life a bit more, yellow. Um, I think it looks good, the paint, with the with the black marker pen, so maybe think about doing that, you know. I'm actually quite excited by this. You could do like a, um, a stripy snake, like blue and red. It could be any colours, couldn't it? Whoo, I like that a lot. Right, we don't want to do the same colours because it can get a bit confusing. But I'm going to do a bit of purple. Maybe I'll change it to a bit of I don't know, I think a bit of yellow. Just because I don't want to look like the same as the other body. The other snake bits. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Right, oh, the tail, the tail, guys. We've missed out the tail. It was green, wasn't it, to go with that. Look at that. A bit of green there. Right, guys. Guys, we want to. I think what would be good is deciding. This has to be dark, so we'll probably do it a little bit dark. But I reckon the tummy. Let's make a different colour. I'm going to make a pink. Shall I? What the idea of silver as well? I'm going to make. I'm just thinking a colour that we've not used. But I guess it's like a, you can't really see that, can you? I'm trying to think of a colour that we haven't used. Because you can make loads of different colours. And obviously if you're using a different thing, you can do different colours with that as well. Right. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I quite like that. I'm going to do this because it is actually pink inside its mouth. So I'm going to block it in pink, which just means covering all of the space there. So blocking in is literally colouring all the white spaces. But then we want to add things to it. Now an, an eye, it's normally yellow, isn't it? Or like a, a bright colour. And the fangs could be like, I don't know, the fangs could be yellow, couldn't they? I do you like the idea of that being red? It could be blue. Blue might be better, actually. So that's ultimately all we need to do. But 
But, oh no, I've just dropped some paint on my, on my trousers. Uh, I'm trying to get a bit of black out. Right, I reckon what would be the best thing ever, <laughs> what would be the best thing ever, 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 is getting some black and actually, I should put it all over me, getting some black, letting it dry and getting black because you don't really want to go over it now, uh, but you could get a black watercolour pencil or um, a, I can't think of the word, oh, a sharpie when it's dry. I'm doing it with a black, can you see how tiny my brush is? Can you see that? So I'm using a tiny, it's really good practice with your handwriting skills. So I'm using a tiny brush and you're trying to do thin lines to create the um, illusion of uh, scales. But to be yeah, honest with you, you can do it when it's dry with a pencil or a pen or something. But I just want to show you what it looks like if it's darker. And you might not need to do it if it, if it already shows. It's just I like to outline things, it makes it look nice. I probably said it loads before, but if you've got a straw, you could blow paint out in the background. You could put paint there and just blow it out. That would look amazing. Um, it always does when you do it on a picture. All right, I'm nearly done really. I'm liking that. I might just outline the, the fangs because they might not show up that much. Right, I'm going to outline this, just sit down. Oh, he's got little baby teeth I forgot to show you. I say baby teeth, the snake's got quite big teeth, hasn't it? I'm just going to outline this as well. So yeah, you can basically outline everything. What I wanted to show you was get a bit of black paint and put most of it there. It's like watery black paint. Then dry a bigger brush and just squish it down with a dry brush. It makes it look like inside of his mouth's really dark, like it's inside. Looks really cool. Then I'm gonna get some white. White's always a good one, isn't it? White and black sharp, great. And put some little baby teeth of white. Then to make him look shiny, you could like just here and there like adding those little bits. Mm. They just make him look kind of cute. Well, I say cute, he doesn't look cute, does he? That's quite scary. I feel like he needs to be up more. Yeah, because all of there, you've got loads of space. You could write your name there, or you could just do paint and just blow it out. I might try and do a little bit now. I'm trying to think what color I'd use. I do like the idea of purple. Because you could just go round it like that. I don't know. It just it just looks nice to have a bit of a bit of energy to the picture. Because it's a snake and it's moving. Or you could just colour it all in. But I don't know. I like to keep it relatively white, but just with a tiny bit of colour here and there, you know. Yeah, now. There we are, quite like that. There is my snake. I'm gonna call him Philip. Philip the snake. And do you know what, I always forget this. Sign it when you're done. Because you never know if it's gonna become famous. Right. 
it's always nice to sign your work in all honesty because when people receive it as a gift they can be like oh I got that off you know whoever and the more you do the more people are going to want what your pictures so it's really quite cool okay guys there we are there's a snake let me know how you get on and I shall see you soon